you doing, folks? So today we're going to make an old Irish favorite. It's soda farrel. farrel. It's a bread made in a skillet, not in an oven. It takes about 12 minutes to cook, only about three or four minutes to prepare. Really simple. Here we go. So the recipe for soda farrel is relatively straightforward. Simply two cups of all-purpose flour or plain flour, one cup of buttermilk, teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of sea salt. So in with our flour, two cups. Also our baking soda or bread soda and our teaspoon of salt then we're just going to give it a good mix around and then we're just going to make a little well in the center then we're just going to add our buttermilk little by little so maybe like a quarter at a time and then we're just going to mix it and we're just going to keep going like this until we get a nice kind of a wet dough really so this is what you end up with a nice wet kind of sticky light dough so next we just flour the surface and we're going to give that a bit of a kneading so let's just push it back onto itself just want to do this for about three or four minutes just to work the gluten up a little bit doesn't need too much. So when we have it kneaded out, we're just going to make a nice round out of it. And this is going to go into our pan. We'll then cut it into four pieces because that's what farrel means basically. It just means four pieces, four, four parts, I should say. So round, I'm just going to bring it about, about the width of my finger from the bottom. So about an inch or an inch and a half. That should do it. So now we're just going to cut it into four pieces. Straight down one side and straight down the other. Now we're just going to get it onto our pan. So get your pan on a medium to low heat. Now there's two or three trains of thought here when it comes to how you cook these. They just go on a skillet, they don't go into the oven first of all. Um, Northern Ireland this recipe originates from some people will tell you a dry pan to put your farrel on other people will tell you butter and other people will tell you oil and butter I'm going to go oil and butter just because I like a bit of butter in there but I don't want the butter to burn basically so just a little knob I'm not going to do too much it's going to take about five or six minutes either side just tablespoon of oil not too much I don't want to make it too oily I just want to kind of coat the pan a little bit so okay so now I'm going to get my four farrels on my pan is big enough to hold this you want to leave a bit of space in between your soda farrels oh, so that's on a medium to low heat as I said already I'm going to leave that for five or six minutes then we're going to flip it over so they've been on about three or four minutes now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn them because they're getting nice and brown. And as you can see, they've already risen quite substantially from the bread soda starting to work. So the lovely golden brown there. And that's part of the butter that's doing that as well. So they're on there now about 12 13 minutes in total and you can see how much they have risen up Now if You've rolled them too thick and you're a bit worried that they're browning too much on either side You can cheat get them into the oven at 180 for about five or six minutes just to finish them off But really getting done on a skillet is the traditional way that you would use it for an Ulster fry So now we're just gonna plate it up with a little bit of butter so you can see that's perfectly cooked inside, no doughiness whatsoever. And there you have it folks, beautiful soda farrel, great Northern Irish recipe.